There's another posting on social media for jobs in Cape Breton getting attention. And it's not the farmer's daughter who promised a job and land on the island. This time it's for physicians in Neal's Harbour. Gary Mansfield has the story. Hi Margaret, how are you? Good, how are you today? Good, good, come on in. Dr. Nicola Smith just finished a 48-hour shift at the hospital in Neal's Harbour. She's from Dartmouth and moved here two and a half years ago. The 32-year-old is one of three family doctors in the community. The other two want to retire. Smith says she's reached out through social media, hoping to attract more doctors. I went to a school with a bunch of people that are now family practice, you know, practicing across the country, and I went to residency with a bunch more doctors, and I felt like I had enough friends on Facebook that maybe they might be interested. The post highlights come and stay free on the Cabot Trail while working at the hospital in Neal's Harbour. Flexible hours with short and long-term contracts. From beaches to sightseeing, hiking and playing golf, Smith says it's the perfect job for a nature enthusiast. I came in winter actually and, and fell in love with it in the winter and, and what they said to me, they said, well if you like it now, you know, you're really going to love it in the summer. I'm 71. And you're looking to retire. I, retirement's on the mind, definitely. And Dr. Ken Murray is from Halifax. He moved here 45 years ago. His plan was only to stay for two and a half years, but he says he and his wife fell in love with the place. A good place to raise a family, a good place to work, and gee, I think it just doesn't get much nicer than this. As Dr. Smith continues to see patients, she says the social media post has been shared hundreds of times and has sparked some interest. We've already had um, two physicians uh, come forward to me and actually express interest and even look at certain dates already. Social media and the beauty of Northern Cape Breton used as a recruitment tool. Gary Mansfield, CBC News, Niels Harbour.